Meteorologist Matt Broad is here with your pinpoint forecast. And Matt, we're looking at thunderstorms across the state, but also right here in the metro area. There's a possibility for that, Amy. We'll talk about that coming up. But uh, probably the bigger threat, as you were mentioning, in central and eastern portions of our state, where typically in the summertime you do get more in the way of thunderstorms. But we do have our own chance, and again, more on that in a minute. 66, so a cooler start, but skies have finally turned sunny after a mostly cloudy morning. Boy, it took uh, most of the morning to get rid of those clouds. Live look at Lake Oswego High School. Check it out. We're seeing clear conditions, 67 degrees. So with those clouds that we've had early on in the day, temperatures a little bit uh, slower to climb on this Friday the 13th. But nothing unluck unlucky about temperatures in the upper 60s at the lunchtime hour. Beautiful weather. Uh, we're now 61 crest and near the cool spot, 60 in Sauvie Island. Live 3D pinpoint Doppler. Still a couple of clouds are mostly located north of the Columbia River. Let's zoom out a little bit. And this is curious, right? We have this little spin here to our north in Washington State with some lightning and that's an area of low pressure that could be with us as we make our way through the next uh, couple of days. Still warming up uh, in the Hollywood District with temperatures in the 70s as you go to the Oregon Zoo. Well, noon of the zoo, about 67 degrees. So the plan for the rest of today looks like this. 66, a few clouds now, a warm day at 82 and a gorgeous finish at 72 degrees.